H.C. Westerman is an interesting artist because he's not an artist that you can um, categorize or classify very easily. He didn't belong to um, any movement or any group of other artists who all worked in, say, a similar style like abstract expressionism or minimalism. He was one of a group of artists, I guess, that we would call mavericks. They, they um, followed their own vision and um, they worked uh, sort of very much on their own, perhaps a bit isolated. Westerman lived in Connecticut. And they, um, they did pretty much what they wanted to do, and they weren't so concerned about the marketplace. One of the main themes that he drew on was his experience uh, as um, a Navy man in World War II, and then again in the service and during the Korean War. In World War II, he was a gunner on um, the aircraft carrier Enterprise in the Pacific. And he experienced a lot of um, horrendous things like kamikaze attacks, um, uh, fellow Navy men dying, uh, ships sinking, and it left quite a lasting imprint on him that he exercised in a lot of the works that he did uh, throughout his life. And one of the main themes is called the death ship. And uh, it's a symbol of a ship that seems to be uninhabited, that's floating. Uh, it doesn't have a home port, it's listing, um, it seems to be something that's desolate and in trouble. And um, he did this in sculptures and drawings and prints, and uh, they're some of his most moving and powerful works, actually. Westerman was a printmaker throughout his career, and um, one of his most important uh, print productions was a portfolio called See America First. It was a portfolio of 17 lithographs that he made in Los Angeles at uh, Tamron Lithography Workshop, which was a major print publisher at the time. And it's based on a, an auto trip, a driving trip, that he and his wife, Joanna, took across the United States. Um, and it isn't really a travelogue so much as it is a, a reflection of sort of some of the places that he saw and some of the feelings that he had. Um, and also the fact that he was missing his home in Connecticut and missing his wife Joanna who stayed behind and didn't come him to Los Angeles. The Twixmiths collection of H.C. Westerman's work is one of the most extensive and most important that's been in private hands. And it's a collection that many museums have sought after and hoped to get, including the Contemporary Museum and the donation to TCM gives us a, a collection of over 70 examples of Westerman's work, and it'll be, or it is rather, one of the two most important uh, public collections of his work in the United States, the others at the Smart Museum of Art at the University of Chicago.